chapter 11. An ungodly hour. Nanny, whatever are you doing out of your room at such an ungodly hour, purred the Lord Protector. Just bringing up some clean blankets, sir, the old lady replied. Inside the pram, Alfred kept dead still. He could hear in her voice that Nanny was nervous. Her false teeth were clickety-clacking in her mouth even more than normal. Who are you talking to? demanded the Lord Protector. Myself, she chirped. I'm a bit balmy like that. Now I must be going. Shunt. <laughs> shunt, shunt, shunt. Wait, called out the man. Whatever have you got in that pram? Alfred didn't dare breathe. Fresh blankets, she replied. The Lord Protector caught up with her, then leaned down and sniffed. Sniff, sniff. They don't smell fresh, was his verdict. Well, Nanny hesitated for a moment, buying herself some time. They're fresher than the ones I'm changing them for. I find that rather difficult to believe. Oh, yes, 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 Lord Protector, sir. It's the Prince. What's the Prince? He, um, how can I put it nicely? He wet the bed. Inside the pram, the Prince was seething. At his age, said the Lord Protector. Well, it has been a very difficult night for him, what with that terrible business with the Queen. Yes, yes, mused the Lord Protector. What rotten luck having a traitor for a mother. Oh, he's not very nice, is he? Alfred wanted to leap up out of the pram and boff that man on the nose, but he stayed put. The truth was, he was stuck. I've taken the precaution of putting the palace on total lockdown tonight, continued the Lord Protector. Not one, but no one is allowed out of the, out of bed, not even the king himself. So as soon as you have changed those blankets, I want you to go straight back to your quarters. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Good. For his own safety, I locked the boy's bedroom door. Here's the key. When you have locked him back in for the night, bring it straight to me. Yes, sir. Now run along, woman, he ordered. Very good, sir. Alfred listened as the Lord Protector's footsteps echoed down the stairs. <sighs> that was close, hissed the boy from inside the pram. I know, whispered Nanny. Never mind about you doing a bottom burp. I was so nervous I thought I was going to let one rip that sounded like thunder. <laughs> Too much information, Nanny. A honking hurricane. Again, Nanny. Too much information. A Trump tornado. I got it, Nanny. A bottom blizzard got it now let's get going oh yes with that nanny continued heaving the pram up the stairs shunt 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 he could hear the old lady breathing heavily are you all right nanny asked alfred poking his head from under the blankets yes i just needed to take a rest the boy watched her as her nose began to wrinkle are you okay it's these rotten blankets i think i'm going to uh uh Ah, tissue, sneeze. She lifted her hands up to her face and let go of the pram. Nanny, cried the boy as the pram began bouncing down the staircase. Donk, 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 donk. Oh dear, we now have a runaway pram. <laughs> I'll see you in chapter 12 for the next chapter. <laughs>